boo-boo. Hi. Why are you putting your paw up like a pretty baby, huh? Do you have to go pee -pees? Well, that would be a yes. <laughs> hey guys, I'm off to the post office because I have to mail out my iPhone 4S because my iPhone 5S came in yesterday, last night. I was so happy and I'm filming on it right now. And I'll like insert a picture too of what it looks like. It's the white 32 gigabyte with the golds. And it almost looks like rose gold, but it's not. It's like more of a true gold and it's really beautiful. I of course have a case on it already though. Um, it made me kind of think twice though because it's so beautiful. I might get a clear case just to kind of show off the pretty detail, but I have a Henry Bendel case on it right now and I'll show you in a second. Makeup is very, very minimal, just like powder today and um, I have a mineralized skin finish from MAC in gold deposit on my cheeks and on my lips I have a YSL um, lipstick, but it's the ones that are like the glossy, not the glossy stains, the ones that are like less pigmented, just like a moisture balm. That's what I have on. And yeah, just like a little jacket. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mail off some goodies to Trisha and Sadie. And then I also am mailing off my phone because I cleaned out my lipstick collection and I'm giving a lot of product away to them because I figured someone else will actually be using it. And I just feel like it's being wasted in my collection right now. It's mostly drugstore that I gave them, so. Um, but yeah, I'm most excited about my iPhone, and I'll show you a picture, and in a second here, I'll show you my case and my little mirror once I get to the stoplight. Here's my case, guys. Isn't it cute? I love the little taxi, and all the little makeup items. And it's so cute. It's from Henry Bendel. Guys, I'm grocery shopping for my mom. I'm nurse Melissa today because she can only eat soft foods after her wisdom teeth surgery. So, I'll show you. Just got her like yogurt, pudding, ice cream. She can only drink, I mean, have cold soft foods. Hey, honeybees. Good morning. It's Wednesday. And initially, when I woke up this morning, I'm like, oh, it's Wednesday because Monday and Wednesdays kind of suck for me because I have school and work all day but then I just went and got coffee at Fry's Starbucks that's the closest one to me at Fry's the grocery store I was thinking to myself you know what you have nothing to complain about you have a healthy family you're healthy you have a roof over your head you have beautiful clothes and a car that works and you get to go to school and you get to go to a job that you really like and enjoy. Um, so really, I just had an epiphany this morning that I have nothing to complain about and I really shouldn't get so irritated by the smallest things. So just something to think about today. Um, so of course I got a pumpkin spice latte and my makeup today on my eyes, I hope you can see this. On my eyes I have a dark brown cream shadow from Tarte and then I have um, what is that called? Bronzed Taupe from the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows and a little bit of Diamond Dogs from Urban Decay, which is the glitter in the center. I think it's pretty dark. I'm not sure if you're able to see that. Um, on my lips, I have a lip stain from Stila and Passion Fruit. And then I have a Tarte lip gloss. I have no idea what it's called. Um, but it's real nice because it's not super sticky. Let's see if I can grab it. This is what it looks like, and it's in the shade Giddy, I think, yeah. Um, so it's a little bit lighter out. Let me zoom into my eye. And in the crease, I have cork for MAC, and that's it. Um, my cheeks, all I have is Redhead Skin Finish from MAC and Buxom Tahiti Bronzer. And my makeup is not a, a foundation. It's only a concealer from Maybelline, the Instant Rewind, or I think it's Instant Rewind. Concealer, the one that twists up and has the little foamy ball at the end. Um, I used that all over under my eyes and everywhere and then set it with the Rachel K CC cream powder. And that's all I have for like foundation. And then I have my little jewel mint, very Audrey earrings and this ring. Just like a golden diamond ring that used to be my mom's but it doesn't fit her anymore so she lets me wear it. I love that. <laughs> then my hair's just in a, a little ponytail with little braids on the sides because I wanted out of my face this morning. It just looked like atrocious. You know those days when you wake up and you're like, whoa, what happened to my hair overnight? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so 
so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to class. I'm going to be bored out of my mind because we're going to read out of the book again. But positive thinking, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> See you later, guys. I forgot to tell you that my mom's wisdom teeth surgery went really well. She had two removed on her right side, so both the top and um, lower wisdom tooth had to be taken out of her gums because they were starting to protrude and they were hurting her really bad. She didn't have enough room in her mouth, so she had to get them taken out. Um, she doesn't have that much swelling, which I had all four of mine taken out at the same time years ago um, because they were there and my dentist was worried they would start popping out and ruin my teeth because I have had braces. Um, and I was swollen so big like a chipmunk for a couple of days. My mom's like back to normal already today. I'm, I'm happy for her, but I was just totally shocked by that. Um, so either her body recovers really easy or she had an amazing surgeon that did like a fabulous job. So she's all good. I just wanted to let you know so you knew. Um, it's going to obviously take, you know, a good seven to 10 days to be like off meds and everything, but she already went back to work today. And I think I did my wisdom teeth removal over a spring break, so I had like a whole week to recover. And I just remember being like dead the first two days. Like you can't, I couldn't even move my mouth. Have you guys, some people don't even have wisdom teeth. My brother and my stepdad don't have any wisdom teeth in their mouth. Like they never formed. Is that crazy or what? Like you take an x-ray and it's not even there. They're like, oh, we're evolved. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Do you guys have wisdom teeth? Did you get yours removed? Look at this adorable shirt my mom made me. Isn't it cute? It's all blinged. It says honeybee philosophy with the chubby bee. I forgot to film me in it, but I'll post a picture right after this to show you. So cute. I love it. Hey, honeybees. I'm off to meet Sabrina for lunch and give her her birthday gift. And then I'm gonna meet Sadie too later. I'm out of breath because I was literally running everywhere just now because Harley's a little asshole and would not pee, <laughs> um, excuse my language, but I really wanted to kill him because now I'm gonna be late and I'm shiny already. I filmed Friday Favorites. Um, on my lips I have Loganberry from Too Faced, the La Creme lipstick. And I don't really want to go over my whole makeup. I have Too Faced, not Too Faced, a Cosmetics CC Cream. And then like a pigment from MAC on my lids. That's like the thing that I would say is stands out the most is my lip color and my eyes. My hair is outrageously bad. No, I don't have my camera on my stand right now. Sorry, deal with it. Don't be mad at me, but I don't have time for that either. My hair is really bad. I should have like woke up early to wash it, but I didn't, so they're gonna just have to be okay with my hair like a crazy person. <laughs> my um, scarf, I did it in this fun knot, and I saw it on Pinterest, and I got this scarf at TJ Maxx. And then I just have a blank, a blank tee? A black tee. <laughs> I am so out of it right now. A black tee, like stretchy t-shirt, that's like a scoop neck and gold flip-flops. That's my outfit for the day. My earrings are the very Audrey earrings again because I'm obsessed with them. Oh man, I forgot to mention that in my video. Oh well. When I wear things for Friday favorites, I forget about them. Okay, see you later. Okay guys, so I just wanted to do a mini Target haul because as you could tell, I was just in the dressing room because so I was looking for a dress that's sort of like Lana Del Rey inspired because I'm going to be here for Halloween this weekend at a Halloween party. So I did end up getting that white dress that was like lacy and had like the side sleeve detail to it. So I got that one and I did get the really soft sweater that has the Paris logo kind of thing on it. It's so soft. It says... Academy Paris de Amour, which is like the Academy of Love in Paris. Super cute. It has like a little sparkly bow too. And it's so soft. It was 
let me see 1999 so not the cheapest I got an extra large because I wanted to be super baggy and like comfy I got the pumpkin cheesecake scented soy candle this is the limited edition and I heard someone talking about that I think this was JJ's beauty blog um, was talking about this oh my gosh guys it smells just like pumpkin cheesecake Mmm, and it was 10 bucks. So just as much as like when the candles are on sale at um, Bath and Body Works, which they are two for 20 today, but I'm not gonna go. Hey guys, look, Sedona Lace sent me this 88 pan palette. It's all matte colors. So I'll be doing a tutorial soon. It's so pretty. And they sent me their primer too that's called Stick It To Em. And this really pretty blending brush, crease blood brush. Um, it's number 863. It's the pink handle one. And then I was super excited that these two catalogs came in for the holidays already. Victoria's Secret, which I thought was so pretty, and then Henry Bendel. I really like these ornaments too. They're so pretty. So, minimal makeup today. Don't mind that. Uh, I'm just off to the bank because I have to deposit. So one thing and then get two money orders. One to send off to um, Dan and B, which is like for my x-ray certification, it's like $175. It's a crazy amount of money for the exam, but that's what I'll be doing, uh, paying for today. And then also I'm gonna apply for my Mac Pro card finally. I don't know why I haven't done it before, cause not like I can't, um, but that's like $60, so. There goes all my paycheck. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm off to go to the bank to do that and then I'm gonna fill my October empties because my bin is overflowing with empties right now. I'm not sure I like my makeup today, even though it's minimal. I used the Skin Finish. I think that's what I don't like. And Gold Deposit from MAC and I'm not sure I love it. It's very glowy, but... Mm. So I decided to put these impress nails on today. They come in this cute little case and then you just stick them on. We'll see how good they wear. Good morning, it's Saturday at 6.30 a.m. because I have a meeting at work this morning from seven to nine. Although I have a feeling it might be 7 to 10, even though they put 7 to 9 on the schedule, because it always happens. Um, my makeup is pretty minimal, for me at least, because I got ready in a half hour and I usually take an hour, almost. So my hair is just straight, I have my little honeybee earrings from Joel Mint, this bow ring from Forever 21. Um, I have... The Maybelline Instant Rewind Concealer in Medium, pretty much all over, under the eyes and all over. Powder is the Rachel KCC um, Cream Powder. And then I have, my blush is Clinique's Smoldering Plum. And then I also have the Buxom Bronzer in Tahiti. On my lips I have Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC and Ferris Nude from L'Oreal. And everyone raves about Ferris Nude, but it's a little too brown for me. Like, I have it on right now and I feel like it looks really brown. I don't know if I love it. Like, initially when I first put it on, I'm like, oh, I like it. And then I look in the mirror, I'm like, mm, don't know if I like it. On me. I don't know if I like it on me, I should say. Um, and then my eyes, I just have a cream, shimmery, like, champagne base. Um, shadow and then from Maybelline eye tattoo and then liquid liner from Kat Von D and that's it and brows are brow powder from Sephora that's it I think that's it do my teeth look white I've been trying to whiten them but every time I look in the mirror I feel like they look exactly the same I've been using the whitening lightning pen so I'm gonna try and see if I can get coffee I have 20 minutes to get coffee and get to work. Think I can make it happen? Oh, I'm wearing my nails still. They're all still intact. These are the Impress nails. 
and so far I really like them but you just have to be careful with them it's not like you can do a bunch of housework or wash the dishes like immerse your fingers in water because it comes right off I actually I did have this thumb one come off last night and then I just put a new one on and they stayed through the night so we'll see if they stay for a week like they say I really doubtful if I get these to last three days I'll be happy <laughs> Hey guys, we're at Kohl's and Lauren Conrad has the cutest sweaters right now. Look at the bunnies. They're so soft too. And I tried on this sweater and it was so soft. It's all fuzzy. I don't know if you can tell. There you go. It's super fuzzy and comfy. I really like this one too. I didn't try it on yet though. Look at how cute. That one's from Rock and Republic. Rock Revival. No, it's Rock and Republic. Oh, Close it right on the tag there, sorry. lady. <laughs> Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I'm about to go to the Halloween party and I just wanted to show you my makeup and outfit real quick. The lighting's kind of weird, but hopefully you can see. I have little whiskers and fake lashes and cat liner. And these ears are from Francesca's. And I just combed my hair and then this dress is from Dillard's. It's super comfy. It's like the most comfortable dress of my life. I love it. Totally gonna wear it more than just from now. And then I'm gonna put stockings on. I didn't put them on yet, but and then I have these little flats that are leopard print too. And that's pretty much it. I might film a little bit at the party, but it depends on, you know. How drunk she gets. <laughs> that's not what I meant, Mom. <laughs> okay, bye guys. We saw a TJ Maxx. It's a phone case. That's a honeybee. But it's for a 4S, so I'm not going to get it, but it's so cute. Hi, lovelies. We are shopping a little bit. Not really. Just had a couple returns. Went to TJ Maxx, went to Target, and now we're going to lunch. I got that perfume you guys told me about. I forget your the exact name of the subscriber, but you know who you are. But one of you mentioned that the Katy Perry... Um, perfect I think that's what it's called meow perfume yeah. that has a little kitty cat on it and it has a cute little collar that has an M dangling from it and it looks rose gold and it smells so good and it's so it smells so sweet and yummy and so me I found so out TJ Maxx you. Uh, thank you I found it for $19.99 at TJ Maxx so steal and I think it's the larger size too yeah oh, it's like really it was. Cute. and now we're gonna go eat some Chipotle cuz I'm, I'm on my starting. diet I'm so hungry. Oh, the party, I didn't tell you. It was really fun. Had a lot of fun. I didn't vlog, sorry, because it's just awkward vlogging, but I took pictures, so I'll, I probably already inserted some prior to me talking right now. And we're going to get burrito bowls at Chipotle. He's going crazy with his new toy. <laughs> then he got it, TJ Max. Bring it, Harley. Come on, Bill. He never listens with the voice. Get it, Harley. Get it. <laughs> okay, anyways. This is what else. Got the perfume that I was talking about. Got some peppermint hot chocolate because it was too cute. These are going to be for the truffles I make in the for Thanksgiving. I put these on top. Got some monitor wipes. I know that's not really exciting, but needed those. And got some Vita Tops. These are so good. Really, really good. And they're infused with a ton of vitamins, 9 grams of fiber, protein. They're good for breakfast or snack. And then I got... Pumpkin spice egos. What? What? <laughs> Was very excited for that. And parchment paper because I'm gonna make my brother some cookies. And I got this brand of lotion for my stepmom because she's obsessed with this brand and it's actually more, uh, made in Scotland and it's pretty expensive to get it shipped out here. So I found it at TJ Maxx. So I got her a whole set of goodies for Christmas time. Good morning, honeybees. Today I'm going to a dentist's office to um, for school to shadow and we're also going to get to try our hand at putting in x-rays and doing x-rays dental x-rays obviously so I'm really tired though because I stayed up way too late last night as usual um, 
I actually watched Dracula last night. It's a new series, and it has Jonathan Reese Myers as Dracula, so obviously I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> it was pretty good. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Have any of you watched it? So, and my brother came home yesterday, um, just for like the night. He's gonna be leaving after lunch today, but. Um, that was a really nice surprise because I didn't know he was going to come down. It was a Sunday, so that never happens. If he comes down, he usually comes on like a Friday or a Saturday. But yeah, so that's fun. I love having him around. Um, I'm not really going to go over my whole makeup today because it's very minimal. Um, the only thing on my lids is um, Bold Gold from Maybelline Eye Tattoo and Cork in the Crease and liner. That's it. So it's not really that interesting. Um, I just have my hair up in a bun again, and my little earrings are the cutest things. Let me, I'm at a stoplight, so I'll zoom in. They're these little spiders, and I got them from Francesca's. Aren't they cute? And then I have my scrubs on. And then after that, I have resumes. I'm going to go to orthodontics offices in the valley. I'm sorry, am I? I'm squinching orthodontic offices in the valley and around me and um, give them my resume to see if I can shadow for a little bit before so I get some experience while I'm waiting to get a job um, so yeah that's about it for now guys I will talk to you later hey guys Brian made me a panini today for lunch I'm not gonna film him even though you would really appreciate it because he's half naked but I won't <laughs> um, but I don't know what's on it. Turkey, cheese, something else, hummus, I think. I'll tell you how it is. It's probably really yummy. I just went to Ulta, and the reason I went was to get a wet brush, because everyone keeps talking about how great it is, so I'm going to try it out, because I have really tangly curly hair, and it was $8.99. And then I also heard really good things about the Big Sexy Hair Volumizing Dry Shampoo, so I'm going to give it a try. I found this amazing Zoya polish that everyone was showing on YouTube from their Ipsy bags and I really, really wanted it. I don't think you can really see how pretty it is. There you go. It's called Mason. It's so pretty. And then I got this Nail Teaks Formula Nail Protein um, Strengthener because my nails are still really bad. The Sally Hansen one's not doing a good enough job. And a lot of you guys mentioned this one when I said that my nails were really thin and brittle. So. I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it works for 9.50 at better. Hi honeybees. So I am off to interview for a possible like internship at an orthodontic office. And it's actually the office that I had my orthodontic work done years ago. Like I had my braces on, I think it was 98, 99. 98 through 99 and then I had a retainer through 2000 I think it was. Something like that. Dr. Dickerson his name is. So I'm gonna go interview with the office manager there. So I actually have all it cosmetics on pretty much today because I'm going to do the haul slash review. I'm gonna film it when I get home. So I have their CC cream on, I have a blush from them on, their concealer, their full coverage concealer, their lips, which I have it with me. If you wanna know the names of everything though, I'm just gonna link the haul and review right here and all the names are listed there. Um, only thing that is not it cosmetics is my eye makeup it's the um urban decay vice number two palette if you want a tutorial on this like soft smoky gray look let me know and i'll totally do it it was really simple it's like three different shades from the vice two palettes um brows are the other thing that aren't it cosmetics that's the benefit gimme brow and then i have these rose gold little studs on my michael kors rose gold watch and Michael Kors little rose gold buckle ring. On my nails I have Fiji from Essie on. I painted my nails. I cut them real real short because they were still they're still peeling and not doing so great. I put that strengthener on as my base coat and I do really like it so far. It's nice and thick and I feel like it really is helping my nails already in just one day. So that's really awesome. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I told you about my nails. My shirt is this like sheer top it's actually a belly top sorry hold on there's bikers over here that are watching me film <laughs> okay it's a sheer top that I forget where I got I'm pretty sure TJ Maxx and then I just have a blue tank 
underneath it. I wore this to New Jersey in my New Jersey vlog, so you've probably seen it then if you've been watching me for a while. And then I have black slacks on and black um, patent leather flats on for my little interview. So hopefully it goes well and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just went to my P.O. box. I know it's really bright, but I got a package from iKate House with lots of lashes, so that'll be in a new um, probably Friday Favorites. But I got this really cute little gift from Andrea. I think that's how you say her name, like a belated birthday gift. It says, Dear Melissa, I hope you had a very happy birthday. Enjoy these gifts. I hope to see them in your next video. Love, Andrea. And it's one of these cute little cards, and it talks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny so now I haven't seen what it is I was starting to unwrap it and I thought I needed to show you guys <gasps> how cute oh my god they're little sterling silver earrings that are bees these are so cute thank you look at how cute I love them thank you so much hey guys I'm about to go to school but I just wanted to show you my makeup real quick um, I use the naked palette and I forget what the color on the lid is, but I know in the corner, in the crease here, it's smog. I don't know if it's coming off as smoky as I want it to. Actually, let me go. I'm going to go get the palette so I can tell you what the name of the shade on my lid is. It is Sidecar. And then I also have Naked in the crease, too. Blended. And then... I have Physician's Formula Blush on. I am wearing the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation, and it's the first time I've ever personally worn it, and I really like it. It's like really nice coverage. I didn't put that much. I just put like a little bit, and it gives such good coverage. On my lips, I have um, the lipstick from Victoria's Secret and Wish. I think that's like the most important stuff. Okay, see you later. Bubble bath time. Good morning guys, so Mally Beauty sent me a few products and I wanted to show you them real quick. I'm super excited, I've never tried anything from Mally's Beauty before. I swatched the two um, eyeshadow sticks, so I just wanted to show you the colors. The pink one is called Angel Shimmer and the other is Bronze. And I've heard amazing things about these. These are the Mally, I forget what they're called. This is what they look like. They're just like very similar to the Laura uh, Mercier caviar sticks. Oh my god, my neighbors are being so loud. Sorry. They're called Evercolor Shadow Sticks and they come in this packaging. So then this is the bronze. Oh, this is the angel shimmer. Just kidding. So that's what it looks like when you roll them up. And then I got two of the liquid, high shine liquid lipsticks from them. One of them is this one in Mally's Baby. It's just a really beautiful baby pink. And then Must Have Pink, which is a deeper pink. Really pretty. And then this one I'm most excited about. This is the Poreless Face Defender from Mally. And it came with a really nice big sponge. So what this is, is this helps you with shine during the day, but it doesn't um, take away your color, the color of your foundation or your blush or anything like that. And it's just a clear kind of like gel. And I'll tell you what I think of it once I start using it. But yeah, it's supposed to, you know, minimize the look of pores and help the look of shine throughout the day so I love the packaging really beautiful like a purpley pink and very slim so I'll let you guys know what I think